we live in a time of resurgent anti-Semitism and Islamophobic or Islamophobia in as to the church as a whole, as to the Diocese of California, as to your role. What role does the church have in responding to this? Um, well, I, I think we, when we were driving here this morning, um, the, the little cross street we have to take to come over to get onto the, the highway, there's Malia, my wife, was, was mentioning. She's like, I love going this way. I was like, how come? She goes, because the Jews for Jesus is right over there. And she was like, like and so it, it's, a, it's a reminder all the time that you know, the, the one we acclaim as the Messiah is a Jew first and foremost. And so uh, there's not really a place for us as followers of, of Jesus to, to be anti-Semitic. Um, that gets complicated uh, when it comes to how that's defined in the public sphere. Um, you know, there's, there's ways in which I feel like our technologically connected, but maybe humanly disconnected way of being right now uh, privileges uh, stark dualities. And, and it's like, if you say, uh, if you criticize Israel for its treatment of uh, Palestinians uh, following October 7th, does that make you anti-Semitic? Or, you know what I mean? Like, for some it does, like for others it doesn't. Um, if you uh, criticize uh, Hamas, its treatment of uh, Jews on October 7th uh, as deplorable, um, does that make you uh, an Islamophobe? I don't think so. You know, I mean, like there, there's nuance to this, right? So ultimately what it comes down to is how willing am I to be in relationship with someone who doesn't, uh, on paper at least, share my values? Like they're, they've been defined culturally uh, by, uh, by something that's different. And in the case of Muslims and Jews though, I mean, we share way more than we don't share. 